anxious waiting to Oh, we're, we're ready. We're ready for going. this last team to get here so we can get this <laughs> ball rolling, man. All right, well, I'm Mark Griffin, and uh, I'm from just outside of Houston, Texas, in a little town called Crosby. And I'm Andrew Cole. I'm from the same town, Crosby, Texas. Uh, David Abbott. Shanae Abbott Yarbrough. <laughs> Delta, Utah. Born and raised. Well, I was born and raised. I'm Jim Cooper I'm from Wellington, Utah. I'm Kay Dimmick, and I'm from Price, Utah. Uh, so my name is Joe Merchant. I'm from Indiana. Franklin, Indiana. I'm David Rooks. I'm from Edinburgh, Indiana. I live in Columbus, Indiana currently. What do you guys do for a living? Well, what I do for a living is uh, work for ExxonMobil and I'm in the security group. So I've been out there for coming up on 12 years. Uh, I've been in the petrochemical industry for about 25. And I also work for ExxonMobil. I'm in metals craft, pipe fitting, boiler maker, welding, and that's about it. I actually work at a uh, coal-fired power plant down in Delta, so been there for 38 years. And I'm a teller at State Bank of Southern Utah. I'm Mine Coal. I just graduated from high school last year, so I'm still trying to figure things out, but I'm working at Wheeler Machinery. I'm a plant manager at a glass recycling facility. I work in a fabricating shop, learning CNC, um, uh, fiber laser, and uh, now I'm actually doing the logistics side of things. All right, so you guys had a little bit of a special situation uh, that happened during the draw. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, that was, uh, the situation was pretty unique. Uh, you know, we both had already kind of agreed that you know, we put in for it, and if I got chosen, I would choose Andrew as my partner, and if he got chosen, he would choose me. But uh, as it comes to find out, uh, we both got picked uh, in the drawing. And so we had to kind of scramble to determine what we were gonna do. And it, was, it was kind of funny because I watched the live video, and I scrolled back, and I saw that Mark got picked number two. So I, I stopped the video right then and there, and I, I called him. He thought I was just playing with him. Yeah. So I had to send him a screenshot that he got picked, and my wife was the, actually the one that told me you need to continue watching the video. And I said, well, what are the odds? There's no way that you know I would get picked. Sure enough, number eight, I got picked. So pretty unbelievable circumstances for both of us. And how many entries did you get? Just one, one piece. One piece. <laughs> it was meant to be. We really wanted to have this experience together, and so you know we chose to to give back our other ticket. And we still don't know who's if uh, I put mine back in the hat or he put his back in the hat. We're sure maybe it's maybe it's we true. don't want to know, but uh, just glad that somebody else is going to be here with us and, and get to experience it too. So pretty awesome. Would have been nice to kick your butt though on TV. Uh, so. Yeah, keep dreaming. We'll see. When I when I first heard that uh, that I drew, I I didn't really believe it. I mean. 
she she told me like a half hour before the show aired that uh, it was going to be on, and I just said, well, well, I'm not going to win, you know. And then my phone started blowing up. Her and her brother were both trying to call at the same time, saying, hey, they drew your name. And even then, I'm like, yeah, probably, you know, there's probably a million David Abbotts out there. It doesn't mean it's me. You know, I was still in denial until I got the email. So then, from, from that moment on, it's just been a, a fun ride, just the anticipation and and yeah we're we're ready to go it's gonna be gonna be fun i was emotional before the drawing even happened and they got to like number 10 and <laughs> said his name and i just i just start screaming and crying <laughs> um it's actually been a, a game changer for me too because it motivated me to get in better shape and stuff i, I dropped uh, 28 pounds in the three months and never felt better. I, I got new knees a year ago and so I wasn't really able to work out much before that because my knees were so bad but now I feel great and thanks to this opportunity I, I was motivated enough to to work out and, and get to where I'm at so yeah we're we're excited. What did you guys do to prepare for Home Wars? Huh. What did I do to prepare for Hunt Wars? So since January, I've lost 95 pounds. Since Hunt Wars, I was finding out I was going to be on Hunt Wars, I've lost 60. So that's, that's, that was number one. Working out, training, doing all I could do to, to get in cardio shape, up, up hills, down hills, treadmill. I have the, um, the altitude trainer to help me with the altitude and stuff out here. I mean, I've, I've done it all. I wanted to make sure that fitness was not going to be the reason I lose this competition. Went from 2X to too large. Yeah. So some of my clothes that I bought when I first found out that I was going to be on Hunt Wars don't even fit anymore. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your hunting experience. I've been doing it forever. As long as I can, well, as soon as I could, was able to, I started hunting. Oh gosh, we've always hunted deer and elk, antelope, uh, that's pretty much mostly what we've done. Growing up with seven children wasn't always easy on these guys. They, In fact, back then they hunted on motorcycles. They'd have a kid on the front, a kid on the back, and each of them had their own bike. Some of my older brothers had their bikes with a couple kids on, and when I got a little bit older. I mean, of course, with them with seven kids, they kind of road hunted a lot. And when I got a little older, I wanted to get away from that. So I just one day took off and that's kind of where my sickness started. Now I, I'm i pretty dedicated to it. I do a lot of scouting. I'm, all, I'm usually by myself. I've quartered and packed a game out myself and I love it, so. What's gonna give you guys the edge over the other teams out here? It's just me. <laughs> Probably Man. pure dumb luck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd rather be lucky than good. And so far, we've been pretty dang lucky. I know we got another group like us, whitetail hunters. They don't have first time uh, hunting out west. The other two teams, they got the experience, but I mean, like they said, they, they don't know the area. So maybe we're level playing field, and that's all we can hope for at the moment. X factor right here. <laughs> No pressure, right? <laughs> She'll find them. I guarantee it. All right. Final question. Are you guys going to win? Absolutely. We didn't come here to lose. Drive no way. 24-hour drive? No way. We came here to take home, take home the championship. Take home the gold. Right. Yeah. Are we going to win? Are you guys going to win? We're going to give it our best dang shot, too. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be arrogant and say, yeah, we're going to win. But if we don't, it's not going to be for a lack of trying. And worst case, we come out with a really cool experience and uh, we'll learn a lot and have a great time. Oh, we're going to win. We're going to win. Are you going to win? Oh, yeah, for sure. I got I got to win because I promised my brother some gear <laughs> for letting me come. But we got this. <laughs> we're going to try.
my wife would be having a heart attack right now. I don't know if anybody can see that. But this is this is what he's decided to sit on. <laughs> you ever take a shot straight down? With a bow, yes. <laughs> Not with a gun. I'm really excited for this guy. He's been he's been hyping me up. I've been pretty calm and collected about it, but that guy he's he's been excited since day one. I want him to be successful and I'm gonna do my darndest to find him a deer and get him on one. Booked up energy. So excited he uh, started going back to the same, uh, same, same spot point we were at yesterday. It's going 180 degrees from where we need to be. So not this mountain. <laughs> yeah. Not that one, but that one. The one behind. That mountain. Thankfully, we're not even a quarter of the way up. All right. See you at the top. We'll see you at the top. Got one spotted. two bunches of trees. He's toward that left bunch of trees. Oh, I see it. It's a big one. Oh yeah. He's big. Man. He's big. He is big. What I see through my scope, five by five. Good eye, Dave. Good eye, Dave. Just take your that's a trophy buck right there, man, all day. That's the kind of buck that the Indiana boys can kill. Indiana boys on the board for spotting, son. I told you, patience pays off. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, so here it is. We found a good buck. He is about 1,500 yards away on the other side of the mountain. We're gonna make a good game plan to get him. We gotta go down the mountain, back and around. But I think we got a good play on him. Whether we bust him or not, Indiana boys are at least gonna give it a try. So there's, there's no point in sitting here waiting around and seeing what he does. When we're perfectly capable of making the move. Yep. Let's go get her done. Let's get it. So you marking him? Yes, I'm marking him. Tell me which team we spotted across the, the valley. It looks like Team Abbott has snuck in on us over here just to the is that north of us yeah and uh looks like they're looking that way but i do not think that they got eyes on that deer just because that rock face is higher than the wood line he's behind so hopefully he's all to ourselves and we can get in on him and old joe can pull the trigger so i'm getting him marked now we're gonna go in after him spotted a pretty good buck up there we can't tell what it is right now but there's about four or five probably more deer than that up there. point where he's at clear up there on that cliff man <laughs> <laughs> how far is it got a 800 oh there's two coming into the clearing right now well at the very top up on this cliff man we got a little closer and we see a three by two a big two point and another smaller two point with them. We 
like that little oh, yeah, chimney I see that one. thing. Yeah, on the hillside. Just put his head down. Yeah. But I think there's water over here coming out of that. He might be heading to it too. When we were looking back there, you could tell he was bigger than the other one. We're halfway there. Stay remember, Master. You failed me. I'm right. substitute for altitude training. snowmobile to get fuel and uh, on the way back I blew tr two trailer tires on the same side my fender was rubbing on the tire and it had been a long day we had a little bit of some tough luck but yeah we got up here where we wanted to be yesterday morning actually one of the first deer we seen was a the biggest buck we've seen. We didn't get a good look at him, but I think he's kind of hunkered down in these little quakey patch down here. So I think he's getting a little trigger happy. <laughs> I know what's coming in the next two days, and it ain't pretty. Yeah, we're on date Cold now. weather and possibly snow up here. So, which you know could make things better, really. But thanks for good hunting. All right, so we got on this buck early this morning. Found out where he was at. What I'm doing right now is looking on all next to try to get some uh, some more intel on which way to kind of go up. We know where the last point of sight was. It's on top of this little mountain right up here. Now we're just trying to make a game plan to try to get up to him and sneak up close enough to him where we're not going to bump him. So we bump him and he goes over the other side that's going right towards Team Abbott, which we do not want. <laughs> it's steeper than it looks. Yeah. This 135 pound frame of mine ain't too bad. <laughs> but I ain't used to the incline. No way. Yep, how do you prepare for the incline? Well, it's 95 pounds to be out here and I'm still struggling to get up this hill. Hey, we call this secondhand fun. Just killing that big buck, that'll be firsthand. Yep. This is secondhand fun. Yep. You look back and be like, man, remember that mountain we climbed, Dave? Yeah. What you working on over there, David? Oh, I'm taping up. My ankles are getting sore. Oh, Lisa with a first aid kit. Yep, my wife. My lady just keeps me hyped up on sugar. Here, babe, have a good time. <laughs> I'm pooping when we get to the top. <laughs> I forgot my ratchet strap. I only use ratchet straps. We'll put them around, we'll wrap around their waist and hook them on the hook tree. Hook around the tree. And then you lean like this, like you're hunting in a bow hammock. Hunting in a saddle. So, yeah. You just send it, huh? You just send, send it, buddy. Son. Look, mom, no hands. <laughs> Tell him, tell him what Peak needs to do. You need to put a spoon in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget a spoon too? Yeah. Nice. How's the pesto pasta? It's good with my water bottle. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see what you got going on there. Water bottle, spoon. Oh yeah. There you go. So uh, Andrew glassed up a, uh, a little spike, he told us. Um, we started looking where he gave us some direction and we actually got uh, we got seven deer in there now. We got a little spike and at least a little two point. So we're gonna watch them, <clears throat> see where they wind up bedding and uh, see if there's some more deer in there. You know, there may not be any baiting. There's nothing about us eating the same thing that they like. Maybe they can just smell it. We're just in that next drainage right above them trees. There's actually a group of does and another two point. And he's just above the does. You think this one down here is a shooter? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think this one down here is 
shooter's name? No. Family Feud, I love it. It's day one of hunting. That might be as good as it gets. How do we know? Well, we're still spotting deer. Are you excited or are you cold? Both. I'm really not that cold, it's just my nerves. That's how we That's climbed to 9,000 feet right there. That's some hard work, boys. Embrace the suck. There's gotta be a stud in there that's hungry too. Six on the right, four on the left. Three, four, one, ten, ten, three, four, five, six. Four on the left are already gone. Yeah. if you just want to go, but I don't see what you're going to get out of it. Are we one a glass somewhere or what? <laughs> I'll still go. Well, you sound very confident that you don't want to go up there. No, I mean, I'll go up there. I'm just saying, what are you going to do when you get up there? I don't know. I cure cancer. Maybe I just have a sense of adventure that can't be cured. like we got some rain in. What are you thinking right now, Dave? I'm torn. He might get closer. If he comes closer, it might be a tough call. 
especially if he comes within our range. I think I think if he comes within three, I'd probably take him. Dude, that thing's wicked. <laughs> Alright, we came up on the ridge and found what over 20 deer. There's three, two or three bucks. Couldn't really tell they were across the canyon a ways. We hiked out a ways over there. But couldn't really tell. It got dark on us and we got a big storm coming in, so heading back. Lightning scary. Lesson of the day. Yeah. Yeah, the rain's starting to come out. <laughs> yeah. Look at the vans over there. I mean, it's it's dropped out over there. Good boy. Yeah, it's coming. 15, as well. 20 minutes to be over this, maybe? A little bit more? If we got 15, 20 minutes, we'll be lucky. I drink one of them bucked up tomorrow. There's no caffeine stuff today, so the birds. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's a lot of thunder and rain coming around. It's the front's coming through. We were on him this morning, seeing good, good, good video, good pictures of him. I mean, we're in the exact same spot he was. He's a wolf. <laughs> playing for the rest of the week as long as we can hold out this weather but man I tell you these fronts coming through really affect this deer movement and I don't think he's going anywhere but his bed tonight not with all this rain and lightning and thunder and everything going on to be honest with you I'm kind of scared to be up here on this mountain with all this stuff going on <laughs> we are a long ways from the side by side because we hiked our butt off today this was not one of those days when we sat in glass all day in one spot you can't I can't say it was lack of effort for us trying to get this deer because from being Dave both and and you will put in all, all of it just to get up here on this mountain and be where this deer lives. And I can see why he lives up here. Ain't nobody getting up here unless you want it. Oh, wow. I agree. I think we need to get, get down off this rock. <laughs> well, it's a little too close for comfort. Yeah, that's too that it's been a little, little yeah. bit close for comfort. At first, I think it's a sign saying, I want to pack it in. Okay. We're checking out a hotel lot tonight. I'm fried Indiana boy up on top of this rock. Let's get it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's that one. one. Yeah. Peace out, guys. <laughs> Holy crap. It's hailing out here. I just got hit by lightning. Oh. I'm pretty sure we all, all fell three down. of us. All three yeah. of us. We'd see it if Joe had hit it up. Right? Dude, oh, man, that dude it felt like you got shot by the lap at home. Yeah. I felt it tingling like right through me. Like you hit a light switch yeah. on my fingers. Man. Absolutely. Woo! <laughs> We've got to get off this mountain. Yeah, let's go. Dang, there's another one. You're supposed to count from the time you see the flash to the time you hear it. Close, fast. I know. 
quicker than the last one. We're at the tippy top of the mountain. That's okay, I'll hit my gun barrel first. Yeah, that won't kill you. You okay? Hailstorm coming off the mountain. <laughs> what do you think, Dave? This is ridiculous, boys. Look at this. Look at this, this, this hailstorm we just went through. Yeah. P-size hail, P -size boys. P-size hail. Yeah. Lightning, thunder. 8,700 feet. 8,700 feet. Oh my gosh. Hot water is for real, boys. Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you. Oh my like gosh. Right There's there. another one. Oh. Coming. Let's Keep going. Oh, shiz. Seriously? Yeah. What's up, fellas? That's a good first day of hunting, right? Oh, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> 8700 got hit by hell. We got shocked by lightning. We got struck by You lightning. got shocked by lightning? It was getting close, and I was like, OK, we pack up. I was throwing my stuff in my bag, and we were yelling at it. <laughs> Will, come on! Will, come on! And so I was like, freaking trying to hurry, and then all of a sudden, Crack! And like, I felt a snap on the back of my head, through my body, every one of us. Out my arm, out my other side. Are you kidding me? No, dude. We were like, these guys bolted, and I was like, Oh my gosh. 